Hello guys, in this part we will try to finalize stuff to see how it look like at the end. After this, I just copy uh, the changes, uh, the angle, and maybe change some details for it to look like a little bit different. Uh, but it's uh, gonna look similar, but in a really different direction. And for the render part, I was struggling so much in the beginning with the rendering because sometimes when you open a Blender, it shows you that the, the setting have over 4,000 symbols, even if you don't have anything yet inside. So just to try to decrease that number to just 128 and try to make the render, it will be much more faster and easier to just to check on the other render setup. Because I believe it's like a blender mistake because sometimes like you don't even create anything inside blender but it's still gonna show you like you have already 4000 symbol so just to try to make it the right number because if you keep it that way the system will be literally shut it down or maybe we're gonna just stop for a little bit so for me I was struggling at the beginning to know where is the issue but try to find out in setting setup for the render so you can see that number and just to change it make it a hundred not four thousand And here I decided to create some shelves or maybe some small clothes hanger 
this is the much easy to keep simple vibe of the room like you don't have to put a lot of things to make it look like a really like a a real room but at the same time you can just make everything small details will make a difference so i'm just trying to replace the hard part with the easy part so just try to focus on simple things and add maybe correct color and that's uh, for this tutorial i'm just trying to give you the simple thing to create a room even for the clothes i tried to make simple plain and made it look like a clothes and all this item were modeled from the same shape like a plane and even boxes it's not a big deal to create this much of details but sometimes the texture can play a big role in this kind of modeling so i try to keep it simple and in the next tutorial i will try to explain much more details and will try to give you guys more information or how to create a real room with realistic lights So I hope you guys really like this tutorial, I can't wait to come back with the next tutorial. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know and comment about some ideas about next tutorial and what do you want me to explain more. Thank you and wish you a really good day.